Hey guys, um, welcome back to my channel. Um, I know it's been a while since I've posted, but, um, I'm doing sort of, a, um, a part two of my Music Freak Ships, um, tier list video. Except for this one, I'm just gonna be rating the indivi individual characters. And, um, yeah. So, let's get started. So, wait, and let me start by saying I did not make this tier list. I found it on the website. And the tiers are, yes, these are my absolute favorites. Ooh, you're pretty cool. I like you. I only like you because of fan content. Meh, or I just know. So, we'll start with Daisy. Okay. And, wait, let me move this up. Oh, yeah, I have to use Screencastify for this because... Yeah, also sorry for the ads. Um, okay, so if it will just let me pull Daisy. Okay. So for Daisy, I'm actually gonna leave her in I like you because she doesn't have that much screen time. I mean I like her. But um she doesn't have that much screen time enough to really like attach to the character. So I can't really say much for her. Okay, now for Drew, um, I think, so for Drew, I think I'm also gonna put in I Like You, because for Drew, in the beginning, I thought, you know what, he's, like, really a jerk, but the more the story starts progressing, actually, wait, you know what, I just realized that most of the reason I like him is because hey, I had Ganon. I'm gonna put him. I only like you because of fan content. Because most of like the Drew we've like the Drew that um I've seen is from fan content, and I didn't even realize it. So, but yeah, I only like him because of mostly fan content. I do think that um most of the characters in the series are a bit harsh on him, but he does deserve some of it for some of the stuff he's done. Okay, Elliot. Okay, I'm gonna put him in I Like You because just like um with Daisy but a bit more extreme, we we only get like thirty seconds at most of screen time with him and that's not enough to really thoroughly show who he is as a character. So I don't really have too much to say on Elliot. Okay, um, next thing is Haley. Um, now, I really like Haley, but because of episode 9, and, um, episode 11 is now yet, but, um, based just, and she didn't show up in episode 10, but just based off of, um, it so far, I'm gonna have to put her in Ooh, You're Pretty Cool instead of the top tier, because, I do think that she should have given Jake a chance to explain himself. Oh, and also, if it sounds like I'm whispering, it's because it's 10 o'clock at night and it's a school night. Um, but, um, yeah, I'm going to put her there because, like, episode 9 kind of docked a few points for me. I still like her, but, you know. Okay. Next up is the man, the myth, the legend, Jake. No, really even like room to talk he is my favorite character i think he is very relatable with issues that a lot of people can have or like that have dealt with um like have like feeling like you have to pretend who you are to want to fit in like getting stuck in between multiple people which i can personally relate to but he is my favorite character and yeah okay so, next up, we have, um, Luke, and I'm gonna put him in I Like You, because, um, sort of like with Daisy, we do, like, he is on screen a lot, but he doesn't really have as much interacting as most of the other music club members, and, um, and for a lot of the places we see him, I'm not saying this is all he is, but a lot of the time when we see him, he's more of just like an accessory to Xander. And Xander usually deals with interactions for the most part, like in episode 10 when Jake tries to talk to them. 
and Xander is the one who says get lost, and then Luke just basically backs up what he says with not much thought. Um, and we have, and he, he's actually like I think the only member of the music club who hasn't had like his family reference deal even once. Um, because Millie talked about how, like, her parents, like, always got mad at her for playing guitar late. Sean, we saw, um, he has some, like, his parents have some issues with each other. Um, and Haley and Xander, we know, um, their parents. Um, Jake, we know his brother, and he's the main character. But, yeah. Okay, next up we have, um, Sean, and I'm gonna put him in You're Pretty Cool with Haley, because I personally don't feel like, like, um, a super deep connection with the character. But I do really like his personality, and I think he is definitely one of the better um, written characters in the series. And with that said, on to the next one. So next up, we have Henry. And I'm gonna put him down in meh. Because, yes, he's good for the memes, he's, um, you know, good for comedic value, but that's all he is. Um, and if we're looking at this from a serious story standpoint, I really don't think he adds much to the story. I mean, yeah, he's there, but, like, what else does he really do? Okay. Next, we got Miss Jones. Or Miss Jones, or what her, what her name is. Um, I'm gonna put her down in meh, just because. Um, no, I do think she seems like a nice teacher, but like I said, she's more of like a background character, and I don't think she really adds much to the story at all. Um, so I'm just gonna leave her there. Okay, next up, we have Leah, and for Leah, um, I'm going to put her in the I like you category, because I think with episode 10, we really saw um, a lot more of her personality, and um, with Haley's backstory, we saw that um, she was more peer pressured into being Lily, so it shows that her character has some extra depth. Now, next up is Liam, and I'm gonna put him here next up. I'm, you know, I'm gonna put him next to Henry. And the reasoning for that is basically the same as Henry. He's there for mostly comedic value, but doesn't really offer much else. And he did have um, a lot of what to do with um, Jake feeling pressured. Next up, we have Millie. Now, I'm also going to put her in I Like You, because... Um, now, I really like Millie as a character, but in episode, in episode 9, when she slapped Jake in the face, I think that was completely uncalled for, as she didn't even try to understand what was going on, and basically made him feel like um, a jerk without, like, even, like, basically, she just, like, didn't even want to hear what he had to say. She, she didn't trust him. Okay, next up, background character 101, and I'm going to put her in, I only like you because of fan content, because this is fan content, and I forgot who this character was, um, but 
her design looks cool. I like this, like the side eye, bombastic side eye. Okay, I'm gonna stop. Uh, okay. Anyway, next up is Sadie. And I'm gonna put her in, yes, these are my absolute favorites. Because mm, she isn't really, like, that involved in the story, but she is a good character that, like, with some healthy um, comedic relief, unlike um, Liam and Henry, who are there, like, and make Jake feel just terrible. Next, we got Stacy. And I'm just gonna say, I just know, because that one thing in that, that one scene in um episode five like you don't just like i'm sorry i don't like her but i am biased okay next up zoe and again just no um she ruined jake's life she was a gold digger she did all this stuff so i don't really think that needs much explanation and now for the final character the man the myth the legend xander and i'm gonna put him in Ooh, you're pretty cool along with Haley and sean just for this, basically the same reasons as Haley. he didn't give like i like him as a character he did but he didn't give jake a chance to explain didn't even want to hear what he had to say and that was twice in a row, because he and Luke are the only two characters from the music club that we see Jake interacting with after they received the audio recording. So, um, and Luke didn't really have much to say, so it was all Xander, and he just didn't even want to hear it. But, yeah, I'm probably going to do more of these videos, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I'll leave the link in for this tier list in the pinned comments. So if you want to do this, it, it'll be there. Okay, so have a great day. See ya.